What's going on guys? Ghost here coming back at you with another awesome anime discussion video. Today I'm going to be discussing Claymore. I am fresh off of watching it and uh, obviously I did my research on this anime because I wanted to make, to make sure that I wasn't crazy and I wasn't uh, out of touch with my anime. So, uh, this anime first came out as a dark fantasy manga series that was written and illustrated by Norihiro Yagi. Uh, and it premiered in the May 2001 issue of the Monthly Shonen Jump, where it continued until the magazine was shut down in June 2007, at which point the series was temporarily moved to the Weekly Shonen Jump until transferring to the newly launched Jump Square in November of 2007, where it continued until the, its conclusion on, in December 2014. The individual chapters were collected into 24 or 27 volumes by Shuisha, I hope I said his name or her name right, between January 2002 and December 2014, uh, Madhouse is the company that uh, made this show and uh, aired it on TV in April of 2007, ran it on until September 2007. Uh, there was a soundtrack for it and many other great things you can get from this anime. But anyway, the point to this point is, uh, after that, Claymore, the manga, is licensed for an English language release in North America by Viz Media. And I think it was released on April... Yeah, it says it right here. Uh, it was released on the, the first volume of the series on April 4th of 2006. And the last volume on October 6, 2015. So this anime's been around for a very, very long time. So anyway, uh, this anime is a very, very dope anime when I first uh, got my chance to actually see the show, the, the show, pardon me, <clears throat> the show, and I was just like, I was just like confused at first, kind of just seeing the first overall reaction of the first episode where they were discussing these creatures called Yoma, but I'll give you the plot real quick here, just a short uh, variant of this real quick here, so I can go ahead and give you my thoughts and opinions on this. So the series is set on a fictional medieval island where humans are plagued by Yoma. The Yoma are the uh, humanoid shapeshifters that feed on humans. So uh, a mysterious group known as the Organization creates human-Yoma hybrids to kill Yoma for a fee. So what these uh, humanoid uh, shapeshifters do is they obviously feed on the humans. So uh, this organization, this very mysterious organization, creates a human-Yoma hybrids to kill them for a fee. So they go town to town facing them off. These female warriors wore armored uniforms to the public refer to them as claymores, alluding to their claymore swords or silver-eyed witches due to their silver eyes. So the people outside of the towns and cities call them claymores because of their swords and also sometimes they call them the silver-eyed witches. So uh, the story to this is it tells the story of Claire. Claire is the lowest ranking Claymore in the group. There's only 47, so they all own a certain part of, of areas where the higher you are, the, the more potent of the area you have to yourself, then it's yours. So that's how it, I kind of, from what I could remember, works, right? So Claire uh, is one of the characters we get to meet first in the anime. Uh, seeing her story and kind of a little bit of what happened to her as well during the anime. So... Definitely to me seeing this show and finding out a lot of what happened in this show was insane and figuring out a little of the details here and there and figuring out just stuff that was important to discuss obviously in this video. So if you haven't seen this anime, I definitely think it's a very good anime to watch. It's a very classic anime to watch. Um, I don't think it's a style for uh, for me. Uh, the style for me is to say is uh, kind of like it's a very dark fantasy a, a adventure anime where I think uh, obviously it is more catered to adults to watch based off of the story and based off of how it's kind of created obviously um, there's a lot of other great characters in this show obviously once you watch it and you kind of gather to it I don't want to ruin it to anybody who hasn't seen it but I'm pretty sure this anime has been out for a very very long time as you just heard me read when it originally was running and when it ended and it's 27 uh, volumes of it and so, uh, very good anime, very good anime indeed, and I definitely give this a very high rating because I've never seen an anime style of fighting like this. It's very good. Uh, it's very overall passion and story and, and the way that these uh, Claymore handle themselves, more or less the Silver-Eyed Witches, which in all reality, I stick to calling them Claymores, even though that's what they're referring to their swords as. Um, definitely, uh, this show really hit me in a way that I was kind of shocked and like, I didn't want to finish it because I, I, I was going to get pissed because it was getting good and I was really like in that sense of enjoyment that I wanted to continue but I knew that there wasn't any more series after this. There wasn't any more uh, uh, volume 2 or like a season 2 of this because I think that 
once it was set in, set in stone at the end of this, once you guys see it, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen this already, uh, have already discussed will there ever be a season two, ever. And it's been a long time because the original running for this came out in May 2001. And its last airing was on December 4, 2014, obviously until they added them in certain apps like in uh, Netflix, Hulu, and I think they, they Funimation and other uh, places have them, VRV or uh, High Dive TV, uh, Anime, High Dive Anime as well has it, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but uh, for my opinion, personally, this is a top five action. I love it. It's, it's, it's just action upon action upon action. Um, just a lot of fighting and a lot of, uh, of intense moments, which I love. Uh, there's a lot of blood and gore. At some extent, body parts are getting are cut off. If you're not into that, then I wouldn't recommend watching it. But if you are and you're okay with it and you can kind of tolerate it, then this one's for you. But it's not all about the blood and gore. It's about the story that it's being told about Claire. So that's really where the focus is in this anime. But uh, definitely a watch to go with. Uh, definitely... To my perspective as to the rating as I would give this is a definite 8 out of 10. It's a very good anime. I think if there were a season 2 to this anime and there was more story to continue because there's plenty more you can go with. Because there's a lot that happened in the anime that I'm not going to ruin until you guys see it, which I'm pretty sure you have. Um, Claire, uh, well I'm going to ruin it here at the end. I'm only going to mention the end. Spoiler alerts if you haven't seen it. But if you have seen it, then here you go. Uh... Priscilla was still alive at the end. She managed to leave with one of the three. Uh, I I don't remember what their what their titles were, but if you know, you know what I'm talking about in the comments below. Just leave it there. One of them came and took uh, her away, while Claire was literally going to awaken into a uh, Yoma. But obviously, uh, the high-ranking number nine saved her life by giving off her her Yoma aura, her Yuki aura, to save her so that she wouldn't turn. So it ended in a, in a very, I guess, to me, in a sour note, but I'm pretty sure people were saying you're going to just have to read the manga to find out what happened, which is what I'm going to have to, I guess, do. I don't know, but I don't think they were going to ever make another season of this, I don't think. So who knows? Maybe one day in the future, maybe never, that we'll never get it or we will. I don't know. But definitely a great anime. Hopefully, if you guys enjoyed uh, this video, make sure to slap a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more content like this. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, where I go a little bit more in depth, uh, figure out more about this anime like I did before using uh, my other sources of ways to figuring out information like wiki, anime uh, apps that I use and check on listings so I can kind of gather more of my information so that it's more accurate. Let me know in the comments below. But as always, guys, stay awesome, stay blessed, keep playing, and keep watching anime. And I'll keep it to you next time on the next video.